Okay, so this is one of NASA's older videos where they use post-processing and, and masks. This is a video layer mask in augmented virtual reality. Um, we're going to see him lose his finger here. The watch glitches out. So I guess uh, virtual reality accidents can cause lost fingers. Now we're just going after probably 30 or 40 videos. Probably had approximately oh, 45 minutes straight of NASA messing up the virtual reality setup. I tried to pick some clips that were obvious and some not so obvious. Uh, show you some of the contacts. We're going to see um, Tim Peek with his contacts. In, but these are virtual reality contacts overlaid on the eyes so actors can interact with things in 3D space all in real time. In this next shot, we will get to see the whole arm set up and the virtual reality glove that covers all the way down the arm and hand. This allows the software to broadcast what we see video-wise as his arm in a shirt sleeve. Okay, I have a lot of Tim Peek screw-ups, but this one here, the system glitches. The software does not track his hand properly, and Tim slips his hand underneath his other fingers, which is tightly holding onto the mic, which would be impossible. Um, I don't think this is Tim's fault. Normally, Tim always moves his other fingers up while he slides his hand under. I just think the uh, system did not respond to his movements here. Uh, this picture here is actually Tim's fault. His hand uh, reaches the 3D mic over in front of him. In this next clip, we're going to see Tim's arms glitch out as he's moving. So, in this clip, they're talking, live feed, and what you know, we have the astronaut go by us in the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic, spacey, station, busy effect. The only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out or the uh, video feed is not working. And so we see the guy come flying along in a harness on his wires. Pretty amazing. But that's not all that goes wrong here. Okay, so you see to the right this guy's flipping this hat. This hat's actually on another video um, channel in 3D space. It's virtual reality. He's, they're wearing augmented uh, contact lenses so that they can interact with these 3D objects. Now, in this scene, the guy on the left in the green shirt, he thinks he sees an object in 3D space that's being broadcast to him. So he grabs it and he puts it off to the side. He's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him. But the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers what we're supposed to see. And so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen. And I would just sum this up as a very terrible, bad, horrible day for NASA doing live feeds.
people continue to do our what it takes to turn science fiction into science fiction.